Hey yo, what's up guys, it's Metalface36 back here again with another video. And today, um, it'll be like quite a short video. I wanted to show off my, this is not a complete collection, but this is my MF Doom CD collection. Now, these albums right here are not his entire discography like I showed in my Kid Cudi, my Kanye, my Daft Punk CDs. This is only about 25% of his discography. I am missing a lot of his albums because of, um, because of like how much they're like worth or like hard to get nowadays a little bit, even though a lot of them went on restock. Um, for example, I am missing Born Like This. I am missing all of the Metal Fingers albums. I am missing the collaboration albums with Zarface, the, um, what else am I missing? Uh, Team Ghidorah and the both, and the two Victor Vaughn albums. And um, while I show these CDs, I will explain why um, a lot of CDs were like hard to get even after Doom's passing because uh, two of these CDs I've actually gotten before his passing, and three of them I bought it when like right after all of of um, MF Doom's uh, albums became uh, in the restocks. Of course, they became restocked. So um, yeah, let's get this uh, started real quick. Now, this album is not essentially an MF Doom album, but I wanted to include this because of like how special this album is. And of course, we got um, Black Bastards. This is uh, KMD's Black Bastards. This is their second album. I do not have um, their first album on CD because like how rare it is. And like I've checked on gas draws. They only sell the vinyl version. I do not have a vinyl player, though I am planning to get one soon. But for now, I'm sticking to CDs for now. And yeah, by the way, this is the uh, 2015 uh, remastered version released by um, Middle Figure Records. This is the one where you get the um, album itself and you have the um, deluxe uh, album where you have the instrumentals, the singles, the uh, I guess you could call them like rarities, as, as you can see, like rare songs that came out on vinyl and pressed onto this re-release. So this is like the deluxe version. So yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know the story behind this album. If not, I will explain it um, very quickly. Um, KMD, which was known as MF Doom slash at the time Zevlo of X and Sub Rock, they recorded this album in uh, I believe it was 1993 or 1994. I could be wrong. It was either one of those two years. Correct me if I'm wrong. And um, Electra Records, which was the group KMD signed with for their first album was hesitant on putting was felt really hesitant on putting this album out because of the um, explicit cover and while they were like um trying to put this album out kmd um the member or i should say zevil of x brother subrock passed away in an accident so um after the accident after he passed away um electro records decided to drop uh zevil of x and um and refused to put this album out and that's when um he decided to get the mf doom persona i guess you say and come back from the underground releasing operation doomsday and prior to that a couple of singles like dead bent gas draws and stuff like that and then after the success of um operation doomsday he decided to release this album in i believe it was 2001 so like two years after operation doomsday so this was like um getting some uh treasure gold out of a chest that you buried for a long time and then getting it out like this definitely um felt really 90s and came out like way later like it definitely came out in a different like period of time in terms of underground and even mainstream music at the time which though it can be sound old though it can sound very old from when it came out it sounds really fucking good like really this album is fucking amazing it's classic right here and this is the 2015 uh, re-release uh, re -re -re the one with the two tracks double track uh two cds like i said the booklet i'm gonna show off for a bit so you got like a lot of the some of the promotional stuff that was supposed to come out like the cassette of course you got lyrics for um this track right here i'm pretty sure uh a lot of you guys know this oh it's a classic it's a banger of course but if you got a lot of um interviews and behind the scenes on what went on during the process of this album and like like after um the death of uh, sub rock and how like M like metal f um my bad mf doom felt or should say daniel i guess because 
Daniel Dumoulin wasn't known as MF Doom until 97, 1997. So, a lot of good behind the scenes stuff and like storytelling and stuff like that and like how it was recorded. This is really interesting stuff. I'm pretty sure this can be found online, but I just want to show that off. So yeah, a uh, great album, definitely worth checking out. This one and the first album, definitely. I, I think I prefer this one way over the first album, Mr. Hood, because of like how um the beats sound extremely raw on this and like, like and how it, um their sound is very, on this one is very different from the first one. Very different in, in a good way, in my opinion, I guess. So yeah. And then now we move on to his first album, MF Doom's debut album, Operation Doomsday. Now this is the re-release, or I should say remastered version of Operation Doomsday with, excuse me, with uh, double with two CDs, double uh, double LP, not double LP, double CDs, I guess. And you got 42 tracks in total. You have um, you have the uh, remastered original album, and you have the deluxe CD with instrumentals, uh, bonus tracks, and um, uh, a vinyl ver vinyl single versions of um, particular songs, as well as instrumentals. I think I've said that before, but my my apologies. And the thing that I, that really irritates me is that this booklet right here, as you could see. Just goes in this uh, digipack CD like this, so there's no place to hold it. Like, like if I'm like grabbing the CD off my shelf, um, and like I forgot that there's no like holder for the CD, um, the the, the booklet would just be like, just come off like, without even trying to like hold the CD. Like even if I hold hold it hard, like really hard and sturdy, it will stay on. I I guess I just have to hold this like really hard in order for the booklet not to fall off. But if I just hold it. Just very lightly it's gonna come off easily so that's what irritates me the most so you have um cd1 and cd2 definitely a classic album definitely oh yeah i want to take these cds off to show you what's in these cds and yeah got the metal face mask i guess right there the original mask of course so yeah, this album is definitely worth checking out. Um, this is also a great introduction to um, MF Doom if you're trying to put someone on MF Doom, I guess, or any of his albums as long as they're like really, really good. Which, of course, there are a lot of majority of MF Doom's albums are are great. That's why like, I'm like a big fan of his albums and his music, especially his production beats. Which yeah. Now, um, between this and Mad Villain, uh, he released Victor Vaughn vaudeville villain um venomous villain and his metal finger cds album now i do not have um vaudeville villain for the simple fact that um that cd is extremely hard to get it's not back in stock since metal fingers don't own um don't own the rights to a uh, vaudeville villain or any of his uh, victor vaughn cds venomous villain came out um on a defunct lab um, label which means the label doesn't exist or existed at the time but then um got shut down so um that album even though you can listen to it like on spotify it's not an album usually but you can listen on spotify or like soundcloud um that album doesn't is really hard to get on that album is really hard to get on physical copy both cds so i do not own those albums even though i wish to own vada the one the most so give me my quick thoughts on those albums Bobby Villain's a great album, classic album from front to back. Um, a lot of songs I really love, such as the self-titled track, The Drop, uh, G, um, GMC, um, Open Mic Part 2, a lot of the so Saliva, a lot of those songs are really fucking good. But I'm just sad that I don't have that album. I wish Gastrols put that CD on stock or put like a reissue of a vinyl or a CD. That way, when I get a vinyl player, I'll have that in my collection, just... If anyone um, from Gastrols or like anyone affiliated with MF Doom, please re-release Vaudeville Villain or both Victor Vaughn albums on your website on CD and vinyl. I, I beg you, please. I'll pay like $20 for them. 25 I am refusing to pay $60, $70, $100, $200 um, on eBay for, for those albums or each one of those albums. And for the eBay sellers who resell 
those CDs for that much. I just want to give you a big uh, middle figure of a fuck you. I'm refusing to pay that much just for that damn album, even if it's like two hundred dollars. Even if even if the album, the label doesn't exist anymore, this is a big fuck you. So yeah, uh, my apologies. Anyways, we got Mad Villain. Mad Villainy, the classic album. This was my second, I guess you could say my first introduction of Doom via album wise, but I was, I kind of knew Doom before um, when I heard this album years ago from the Gorillaz track, uh, November Has Come. I've heard that back in sixth grade. I didn't check out MF Doom until around eighth grade, ninth grade, which was this album right here. And I fucking love this album. This album's definitely a classic. What ha what needs to be said that hasn't said before? This album is fucking amazing, and um, definitely uh, Mad Lib definitely did all the amazing ass beats on the CD. So yeah, this is the uh, 2004 uh, original version. I know there's a reissue of this album, but I own the original version. Um, right here, so it's really fucking cool. Oh yeah, the booklet. Um, the booklet's actually pretty cool because you get lyrics for the um for the mf doom songs and like you could like read them and shit very fucking cool Let's see what is in images else and like some information apparently the all caps uh music video is on this enhanced cd even though i have no access to watching it sadly but it's on youtube on hd so i'm cool with that excuse me so yeah that's mad villain that, oh yeah, this one was my first MF Doom CD, and the next MF Doom CD I had before his death, I'll show right now, that is his food album. Now, this one, um, right after his passing, this was the one that, uh, besides Vaudeville Villain, this was, this was the one that was worth a lot of money before this CD and, and the vinyl version as well became uh, restocked. This one was worth, like, after a month he passed away, I checked on Amazon. This was worth like 90, 900, 100 plus dollars on Amazon or like 50 plus dollars on eBay. Like, like this was going super high. And before his death, this album was kind of hard to get, but I made an offer with a seller on eBay back in August, September of uh, 2020. And uh, I paid only $15 for this CD. By the way, this is the 2007 reissue uh, CD with the um, updated uh, Cookies track and the DVD as well, which uh, shows um, which uh, shows the um, live tour of the M the M food uh, food drive tour that came out, that was around during that time. So you got the you got the CD right here, and I think the DVD yeah the DVD the bonus DVD is right here. So yeah, oh yeah, there's back art cover as well, which is really cool. The book is actually pretty neat. I actually uh, really um, a fan of this right here. Uh, you got the track list, but it's organized with appetizers, which is track one to five. Then you have the special recipes, which is the instrumental um, tracks. And you have the entries, which is track 10 to track 15, of course, which I thought this was extremely clever based on like how structured this album is. And yeah, I know, you got this as well. So yeah definitely this was my second i believe this was my second mf doom album that um i actually uh listened to also a really great introduction to mf doom as well definitely worth checking out i love this album and my last mf doom cd i have is uh this one was also this this was the one that i also really wanted to get at the time like when all the cds were getting um out of stock so when this was so when all the MF Doom CDs became in stock, this was the one that I immediately sniped when it was available. That is the um, Danger Doom album, the Metal Face edition. This is not the standard version. This is the, I guess you could say the deluxe version. This one has all of the Danger Doom related songs on this album. Basically, the deluxe includes the the standard album, the e the 2006 EP that came with it. Not came that comes with the CD as well, plus two unreleased um, Danger Mouse tracks, or not Danger Doom songs. Basically, Danger Doom is uh, MF Doom and Danger Mouse, who was known for um, producing uh, 
producing majority of the songs on the Demon Days by Gorillaz and um, making the iconic but yet infamous The Great Album, a mashup with uh, Jay Z and uh, Jay Z's uh, The Black Album and uh, The Beatles um, uh, White Album, which I thought it was pretty neat. And um, yeah, you got the you got all uh, the track list right here and like the characters and photos of what the songs meant to represent. Plus the, the because of like um, because the characters you see are based on the uh, adult swim cartoons that came out during this time 2005 and in because this album was this was affiliated with adult swim at the time and a lot of the songs were like wrapped uh based upon the character or show of adult swim uh cartoons at the time such as aqua teen hunger force uh harvey birdman uh, space ghost which is actually my favorite out of which is actually my favorite show out of like what like mf doom like rapped about or with i guess well not with but you know what i mean and i thought it was pretty neat and inside the cd it's pretty neat as well you got danger mouse got a lot of cartoony shit and you got the cd right here so yeah and yeah i got i, I guess this album is really really interesting to listen to and this is definitely one of my favorite MF Doom albums to like put on whenever I'm chilling and stuff. Definitely one of my favorite M MF Doom. This is not like my top uh three, but this is definitely in my top five favorite MF Doom albums right here. So, and this was worth a lot, by the way. When when uh, a lot of his CDs were going out of print, this was worth like twenty dollars, thirty dollars, fifty, and I was like, nah, I'm not paying that much. And when they went back to restock for like fifteen dollars, I actually bought this on thirteen on Amazon Prime. I was, I immediately copped it, and this is actually a really good album. So yeah, those are my MF Doom CDs. It is not much, but I will try to make an updated video of my collection once I get more of his CDs soon. Even the Metal Fingers one and the Born Like This. The two ones I really, really am aiming for are the Victor, or not the Victor Von. That's impossible for now the king Ghidorah and the um born like the cds those are the ones i would try to get so yeah thank you guys for watching hope you subscribe and uh, like this video uh, more content will be available soon so yeah peace out